We all. Well, all right, shout out to the Hebrew Israelites. We come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America. We want to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh. Hashem. Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all the Akim around the four corners of the earth that's preaching this word in sincerity and truth. And we're just going to get straight into it. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. These 12 Yahweh Shah sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, right, and that's what brother's doing on the four corners of the earth. You know, us here in Cleveland, no matter where you at, uh, under the doctrine of, of GMS, Great Millstone, that's what we're doing. We're going to the lost sheep of Israel, man. You Negroes, you Latinos, and you Native Americans, which make up the nation of Israel, you know? We come out here, we don't, we don't care about Moab, uh, Ishmael, all these other nations, you know, we're not here to teach them. That's why Yahweh Shah said that to the apostles. Don't go to the heathens, you know what I'm saying? Don't go to the Gentiles, but go to the lost sheep of Israel, man. You know? Give me, uh, Matthew, oh, just read Tennessee. Right. Uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 6. But rather go to the lost sheep oh, of the house of Israel. Give me change 101. That's what we're doing, man. We're fishing for the elect, being the elect to the marriage, man. Jehovah Shah is on his way back, you know. You got it. Yeah, James 101. 101. This is James 1, verse 1. James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord Jehovah Shah, Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greedy, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptation. You can stop right there. But to the uh, 12 tribes scattered abroad. You know what I'm saying? Because when you go to uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th verse, the Most High said, it's like the 28th chapter, but the Most High said that he was going to scatter us on the four corners of the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're doing. We're, we're get, gathering the Lord's sheep, you know? In the uh, Romans 9 and 3. Because there's a huge misconception that the Gentiles are the other nations. You know, the Gentiles, it can't mean the other nations, but the Gentiles that the apostles were sent to were Israelites that were under the Gentile custom, you know, the ways of the evil. Just like uh, how Jake, you Negroes, you Latinos, and you Native Americans, how you all celebrate Christmas, that's a heathen custom. Easter, uh, how you women be wearing pants, that, that's all heathenistic shit that we're not supposed to be doing. So that's why we not, not putting ourselves on the level of no apostles, you know what I'm saying? We unprofitable servants. You know, but we come out here to just let you know, like I said, that bid the elect to the marriage. Let you know where you're going off, you know, so the most high don't destroy you. And also to get the blood off our heads, you know. We can't hold on to this information. Like people out there, like you may know you're an Israelite. You may know the name of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You need to be adding to the truth. You can't just be sitting with the, with the truth, man. You know. He just said we're going to the servants, but if you think about it, it's real probable because it can save you, you know, it can mean your own salvation. If you're rich is probably not in the day of destruction or the day of wrath, you know, we're giving you spiritual food, spiritual water. So, I mean, just take heed to it. Right. But only, like their brother said, take heed, but only really the elect and one third is going to take heed to it, you know, because two thirds of y'all is just destined to be destroyed, you know? You, you Negroes, you Latinos, and Native Americans, Two thirds of y'all are not gonna wake up out of that deep sleep, and the most high gonna kill you in various ways. Man. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 3. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Right. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? Right, who are Israelites? This is Paul speaking. You know what I'm saying? Who are Israelites according to the flesh? The flesh through sex through the house of their fathers, man. You know? Huh. I'm bringing it back, verse 4. Who are the Israelites to whom pertain of the adoption right. and the glory? The adoption, when the Most High adopted us and, and made, his, made us his people, made us the nation of Israel. Okay. And the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises. Right. Huh. Hey, so like, you read that back. Verse 4. Who are the Israelites to whom pertain of the adoption? Huh. And the glory. And the glory, the kingdom. And the covenant. And the covenant that he made with us and only us when he made us his people, man. And the giving of the law. The giving of the law. Only the Israelites were given the law, so only the Israelites can sin. 
you other nations can't you can't go off because you you not you a heathen. You know what I'm saying? You can't go off. Only Israel can sin. In the service of Yahweh. In the service of Yahweh, you know. And the promises. So, so, like, so like you're starting with the Levites because they were the, the actual priests in the ancient world, but through Yahweh Shah, we're all priests. You know what I'm saying? Not all of us. You know the hope for the lake right now, and in the kingdom, even you two third niggas is gonna be priests. You know what I'm saying? And it said, this, uh, what was the last thing? So like, it said in the promises. In the promises, the promise of the kingdom of heaven that he gave Israel. You know what I'm saying? You have to be at a seed line of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob for the most high to even be dealing with you. You can't. There's no such thing as a spiritual Israelite. All that shit about how uh, who you, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorant called Jesus Christ, how he came for everybody. That's all bullshit. You know, you can only be. Uh, of the fold through the house of your fathers if you're an Israelite, man. Okay. This uh Obadiah. Nah, this is Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Right. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. Right, that sinful kingdom is America. It's known as Mystery Babylon in the scriptures. This is the sinful kingdom that the Bible is talking about. You know what I'm saying? And his eyes are upon it. You know, he's going, he's getting ready to destroy it, man. The sins of this place. The wickedness of this place is reaching up to the heavens, man. And the Most High is about to come through and, and wreck shit. You know what I'm saying? But like you just said too, it's like the kingdom, the kingdom within the kingdom. All right. So this is the so-called white man kingdom, which is uh, Babylon the Great, America. This is his kingdom. But the the sinful kingdom that the Most High talk about, he talk about uh, the, the twelve tribes, okay. the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because they the sinful kingdom. Because like the I just said. Uh, we the only ones that the law was given to, so we the only ones therefore that can sin. Great point. Uh, I got that uh, for you. Uh, uh, twelve two. Uh, uh, First Corinthians chapter twelve verse two. Ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols. Right, right, right. That we were Gentiles. See, this is talking about the Israelites carried away to these dumb idols because y'all y'all uh, following the the, the 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 customs of the other nations. You know what I'm saying? That's what it, that's the Gentiles that the apostles were sent to, not the fucking white man and all these other weak ass nations that the Most High is not even dealing with. You know, the apostles were sent like before we came into the truth. Even though we Israelites through the flesh, we was Gentiles. You know, we were celebrating all these holidays, uh, committing adultery, like all this shit that we was not supposed to do. We was Gentiles until you know. Th that's why the Lord said uh, His sheep hear His voice, man. We heard the truth. And we uh, got grafted in, man. So that's what we're trying to do out here is grab the elect, the hopeful elect, into the fold, man. Let me get uh, like Ephesians 2 and 11. So that whole, that whole shit about uh, the Gentiles being the other nation, because that's what everybody say. Like, I, like let's say outside of camp, you'll be talking to, talking to people that's the first point they try to make is like, well, the Gentiles can make it. That Christ came to make everybody, or who they even call Jesus Christ, came to make everybody one. The Gentiles is just dumbass Israelites that don't know you Israelites yet. That's that's the Gentiles. You know, you under the uh, customs of the other nations, man. This is Ephesians chapter two, verse eleven. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, right. who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at the time ye were without Christ, or Yahweh Shah, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Right, when you was without Yahweh, like when we was without Yahweh Shah, we were Gentiles, we were aliens to the commonwealth of Israel. We didn't know we were Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Um, it says, and strangers from the covenants of promise. Right, strangers from the covenants of promise. We didn't know the kingdom of heaven was promised to us. You know what I'm saying? Just like some of y'all, well, just like a, a very large variation of you people out there that's Israel, that's on this sign. You don't know that, that the promise is for you, man. You don't know that who you call Christ, whose real name is Yahweh Shai. You don't know that he came down here and he died for, well, ultimately the whole nation, but right now the elect, you know what I'm saying? The hopeful elect. You know, he only came for us. The most high is only dealing with one people. So that's why he sent his only begotten son to come down here to die for us because I mean we couldn't keep the law. We ain't keeping the law all the way now. You know what I'm saying? Even even though brothers want to, you know, we ain't keeping the law all the way now. You know? Yeah. It's uh Joel chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, 
O children of Israel, right. against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I knowing of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right, right. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. He only dealing with us, man. And we ain't got the signs out, but that's why that's why slavery happened. That was a punishment. That's why he punished us for our iniquities. Uh, the northern kingdom, Salaki, the southern kingdom. That's why we came over here in slave ships. Uh, the northern kingdom, you, you Puerto Ricans, uh, Mexicans, all, all you, all you uh, people of Latin descent, Seminole. Native American Indians, that's why this white man came over here and stole your land and, and rolled on you like that. That's why the conquistadors came to the islands and fucking mass murdered all you Latins. Because he was punishing us for our iniquities, man. When you read the book of Judges, that whole book of Judges is just about us going off and putting us in slavery and then raising up a judge to, to get us out. That's how the most I deal with us. You know what I'm saying? Just like how your father, your fleshly father would deal with you. You know? You do some shit, he's gonna beat your ass. It's not gonna be no, you know, go in the corner type shit. The Most High punished us because we deserved it. You know what I'm saying? And the scriptures say that the Most High is a man of war. You know what I'm saying? So he's gonna punish you how a warrior will punish you. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing when you tell these people, well, why would he put us in slavery? Because we went off. I mean, you know, who who is the nation of Israel to, to get this promise from the Most High and then go off and, and not follow? I mean, it was set up all through the Spirit, but. When you think about it, we deserved all that shit. You know what I'm saying? All that shit was righteous because it ain't like he didn't tell Moses to relay the message to us. He told us, if y'all don't do this, these curses are gonna fall upon y'all. And the, the Mozart can't do anything un, unrighteous. Right, right. It was all righteous, man. Yeah, and just like you just said, I, you know, he said like your, uh, like your earthly father, like your fleshly father, like when you do something wrong, he gonna, he gonna whoop your ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's because he loved you. And that's why the Mozart, he chastised us from doing something wrong because he loved us ultimately. All right, he wouldn't have chastised us if he didn't care about us. It's just like an earthly father. If he don't do shit, he let his kids run wild, do whatever the fuck they want. He don't care about them in the first place. Right, right, right. And that, and that also goes into you other nations. That's why y'all, I mean, your punishment is going to be extreme in the end. But that's why y'all be getting away with all this shit. You know what I'm saying? He really don't care about y'all. He going to get to y'all and beat y'all ass later. You know what I'm saying? But with us, it's like, it's like that. You know, when you, when you fuck up, you going to check because you the nation of Israel, man. That, that's how it got to be, man. Yeah, I got to click three right quick. Um, this is Song of the Three Holy Children, chapter 1, verse 2. Blessed art thou, O Lord, Yahweh, God of our fathers. Thy name is worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore. Thou art righteous in all the things that thou hast done to us. Right, Salaki. Thou art righteous in all the things that thou hast done unto us, man. All that shit is righteous, man. If a little baby get catch a stray in the head, that shit righteous. He did something in a fast life, and that was the judgment. You know what I'm saying? So if a motherfucker is born with no arms and legs, that's righteous. Because they, they probably did some shit that the most high decided this is your judgment. You know, he can't he can't do anything unfair or unrighteous to anyone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, true are all thy works, thy ways are right, and all thy judgments truth. And all the things that thou hast brought upon us and upon the holy city of our fathers, even Jerusalem, thou hast executed true judgment. True judgment, you know what I'm saying? Hey. He told us, like I said before, he relayed the, the uh, message to Moses, and Moses told our fathers, you know what I'm saying, our forefathers, which is us through the Spirit, you know, and he told them, we just, we ain't do the shit, you know what I'm saying, you know how Jake is, that's why he said we uh, stiff neck and rebellious, man, Jake, Jake always like that, man, you know, we always been like that since the foundation, you know what I'm saying, that's why, that's why the Most High is going to make us perfect, though getting into like some of the promises that's the only way because if the most high didn't give us a new heart we would get into the kingdom and start being niggas again you know what i'm saying niggas be selling weed in the kingdom and shit all kind of shit you know that's why he gonna give us a new heart so we can't fuck up you know what i'm saying we're gonna rule forever for according to truth and judgment did it stop bring all these things upon us because of our sins because of our sins once again we broke the law you know the law. I mean, even like in Babylon, it is damn impossible to keep the law. I mean, all you can do is try to get the best of your ability. But even back in the ancient world, where our forefathers had a chance to keep the law perfect, they still ain't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because we're a stiff necked and rebellious nation. You know what I mean? 
Yes, come on up. Yeah. It says verse 5, For we have sinned and committed iniquity departing from thee, and all things have we trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. That's why we so fucked up. That's why these people on this side, we're the lowest, most impoverished people on the planet. You know, 